Emergency crews from across the Metroplex are deployed in South and East Texas, conducting water rescues and assisting with the recovery efforts any way they can. Fox 4's Amelia Jones spoke with a Dallas Fire Rescue Captain who was in the Houston area today, and she joins us now live. Amelia. Heather, that Dallas Fire Rescue Captain is currently serving as a water group supervisor overseeing search and rescue efforts. He told me that his team was busy today rescuing people from flooded areas after the storm moved through the Houston area. He's one of many North Texas firefighters deployed to help. Response and recovery efforts are underway after Barrel made landfall in Texas. Crews from local, state, and federal agencies were ready to move in once the storm passed. The wind damage was pretty good uh, going through Matagorda, um, Bay City, uh, and, and into Houston. Charlie Abney is a captain with Dallas Fire Rescue, who is currently deployed as a water group supervisor with the Texas A&M Task Force 1. It's his job to make sure teams and boats are ready for water rescue calls. Abney says his team was called to rescue people who were stranded after their car got stuck in floodwaters. Another one was, uh, I believe, a car or a house that the roof had gotten ripped off and there was a family inside that there's some water in there. And so we had to go check on that and see um, if they wanted to get out. Dallas Fire Rescue deployed a total of 21 members, including a full boat team to help with the aftermath of barrel. Firefighters from McKinney, DeSoto, Grand Prairie, Fort Worth, Arlington, and other North Texas departments are also lending a hand. And I think it makes a good sense to community of, of seeing how far our state's willing to go to help out each other. Uh, we enjoy being able to go um, do what we can, regardless of what part of the state it is. Once the storm moved past Houston, the crew followed its path to the east. So that's why we have uh, people up here in Corsicana, but we're also kind of scattered out to uh, Huntsville, down into Beaumont, actually. Um, so we got the whole stretch of the east part of Texas going on today um, until this thing is uh, cleared out. The crews on deployment could be gone up to two weeks, specifically when it comes to the task force. Abney says that they're going to be there for as long as their resources are needed. So right now there's no timeline for when those firefighters in North Texas could come back.